My name is. My name. <laughs> like I wanted to sound epic. My. My name. <laughs> all right, just freaking start it, and I'll do one. My name is Ryan Long, and my entire life, all I've ever wanted was to be a reality TV star. Reality. But after being rejected from every single show on the air, uh, I created my own reality show television. to be judged by a panel of really qualified experts. Is this guy for real? Shut up. So will I complete the challenge and win the prize, or will I fail and face the punishment? Your challenge this week is to complete a death-defying stunt. It's to complete a death-defying stunt. Gross. This week's panel. The greatest stunt anyone could do in this world is to be born into this world. I knew if I was gonna impress that dude, my stunt had to be totally radical. So I decided to jump out of a plane with no parachute. What if you jump out of the plane with no parachute? Okay, that one was word for word what I just said to you. But I had already found a totally extreme stuntman to teach me how to jump out of the plane without a parachute. <laughs> you could not do something like that, obviously. You said I need stunt. Do you think I was going to come here and try to ask you how to pop a wheelie? Uh, there's things that you can't do. There's well, things just, that we can't do. Don't, can do. don't say any stunt if it's not any stunt, is so all I'm saying. Any stunts, but any feasible stunts for you. I want to be like a legend. I don't want to be the guy who jumps into a couple trash cans for DJ Qualls. In the stunt business, we do we make it look like we kill ourselves or we don't kill ourselves. Who do you normally do stunts for? Like Mike? Michael Sarah, Dustin Diamond kind of thing? Actually, I double uh, Ray Park. You know, like the, the guy that did uh, Dark Mole? But as Louis started bragging about his accomplishments, I realized he didn't give a squirt of piss about the plane job. I do some uh, paintings. I did a bit of some modeling. I have a music studio. I do everything. I used to break dance. Mathematics was the easiest thing for me. I think I can learn anything, honestly. I'm working with Kit Harrington. I was working uh, with Channing Tatum, Idris Elba. Yeah, we like hang out. We're just hanging out. We just like, we, you know, just go to bars and stuff. It's just fun. Basically, you're a stairway to heaven, stairway to hell, and then you have the devil here with the earth and fire. You don't have to do the stuff, it's fine. I just want to show you something. I, I just, I can't. Because I, I can't. <laughs> just hanging out. This is my station where I do all my music. I'm not sure why it's not working. Um, one second. The plane? I'm not sure why I'm not getting any sound now. No idea why. All right, so it's not working. I have no idea why. I was officially screwed. So I'm thinking, when you're falling from the plane, you look at the camera and you throw up like a peace sign, you know, for uh, for the babes. There's a lot of stunt options here, so that was... Ah! Shelly. Nice. I told you to stop doing that. And to make matters worse, before I knew that Louie was going to ruin my life, I booked an interview at the biggest radio station in the city, and now I was going to have to explain to 200,000 live listeners that Louie ruined it for everyone and the jump was cancelled. Alright, so I'm joined in the studio by the miraculous Mr. Ryan Long. These, these are big times for you, man. You're going to jump from a plane. What's a system you guys use is, do you guys still do vinyls or something? Or? People want to know about this though. It's not a me personally. I'm sort of a vinyl man. I don't know. I don't know if it's like the crackling well, or just the nostalgia. You or... know, that's a good talk. Like, I should a... sort of preface this whole thing by saying I'm a bit of an old soul. So yeah. back in the day, people used to play their instruments. They just, it's not the craft like it used to be back in the day. You know what I mean? So that's a, for example, a topic that the public wants well, to people, talk okay. about. Well, you know what, man, even if it goes horribly wrong and you plummet to your death or you're going to be a legend, you're like a, like a Kurt Cobain, you know? There'll be a myth surrounding your demise. You're gonna be a legend. You're gonna be a legend. You're like a Kurt Cobain, Kurt you, know, Cobain you know? Kurt Cobain, you know? your death. You're gonna be a legend. And once I realized that the plane jump would make me famous like Ja Rule, it was so on. And I made this promotional video. I'm super celebrity Ryan Long, and this is Long Jump 2013. He's jumping out of a plane to his death. Sean White's been a big inspiration to me. Ross Rebliati. Just anyone who shreds life, really. In a lot of ways, Ryan's actually exactly like Sean White. <laughs> if they were standing at the top of the hill looking down at that powder, I bet you Ryan would shred it first. My philosophy? Just crush it. Somebody is actually gonna have to call his mother and let her know that her son is deceased. He's the best snowblader I've ever seen. Kids haven't had a real hero since Michael Keaton did Batman. Or Jack Frost, for that matter. Ryan's a lot like Michael Keaton. If you don't agree with me, bite me. I don't think TV is ready for what they're about to experience. I like to think of life as fresh powder. The powder's there, but it's as gnarly as you want it to be. 
It's, uh, what does he say? Uh, fresh pow. <laughs> and the peace signs. That's branding at its finest. I see him throw up those peace signs. My heart's just gonna melt. Ryan's gonna kill himself for fame. I think the target audience is really gonna respond. After the stunt, where do I see myself? Crushing it with Ryan, as always. He's going to die. So even if he dies, there will be people like you and me will be telling you this stupid person died because of just becoming famous. And when you come close to death, you start to put things in order. You start to reflect, what did I do on this planet? That's not what this is about. Well, it's about inspiring other people to do the right thing. It's about life. Yeah. The about best life. dreams oh, that you have are when you're away. That is yeah. such you know, crap. Live in the waking you are dream. not trying to inspire people. You're just trying to be famous. He was influenced by the person on the radio show who programmed his mind to die and have a lot of publicity. But before I jumped out of a plane to my death, I needed to make sure I was getting into heaven. The only way into heaven is by obeying Jesus Christ. So I contacted a man who'd been saved by Jesus after a crippling addiction. And if you have troubles in stopping sinning, you go to him, he teaches you. Like for example with me, he had set me free from lust, masturbation, pornography, all of that. It's Wait, like, what? So that was your sin, masturbation? When I did want to stop, it really became an addiction to the point where I was just like throwing on Saturday morning cartoons. So wait, you rubbed one out to gargoyles on YTV? Dude, you know how you just throw on the cartoon and, and watch it? That's how I used to watch pornography. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay? Thought I, you were saying you were... No, 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 Woo! no, no. So was there no. any specific types that you were into? Um, and some I'm other things. I'm gonna be honest with you, I do watch pornography and right. some of the weirder stuff too. Right. For example, voyeurism, uh, granny, Foot fetish. Well, I don't even really talk about that any longer. Midget, uh, pregnant, uh, fisting, interracial, Asian babysitter. There's some people that actually want to uh, stop. Whale tailing. A, it's a gagging. sin. And you are going to end up being judged on it, which is eternity in the lake of fire. Would it be okay if you didn't masturbate, but you used a flashlight? Don't jump out the plane, seek Jesus and start obeying him. So I definitely had to stop whacking it. But to double my odds of getting into heaven, I reached out to reform criminal Spider Jones. I was doing time when you were shitting in your pampers, man. To donate all my most prized possessions to his charity. Are you actually gonna jump out of a plane? Yeah. With no parachute? No parachute. Is he real? There, uh, there's nothing, yes! I got something for you. So when you go back to Spider's web, you're not gonna be going home empty handed. Here's two Long Jump 2013 signed pamphlets you can give to two kids. One of my headbands, which is sort of my trademark. May I? Yeah, you may. These are for the kids too. I don't want them disappearing on the way home. This was called the, the uh, 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 there, was a, there was a name they used to call it back then, the, the headband. What's the last day? And then the last thing, the money piece. That's hair, man. Piece of your hair. It's a piece of my hair. Marilyn Monroe's hair went for forty-five thousand, and Marilyn Monroe died of old age. Well, no, well, no, she didn't know. Jails are full of butt bandits, so. If a butt bandit tried to get me in the jail cell, would you fight him off for me? That did happen one time. In, you in, saved someone from a butt bandit. He was gay. The and butt bandit, or the, butt, the guy that the butt bandit was after. The, the butt bandits were gay. Okay. He wasn't. Guy pulled my pants down one time, true story, and I butt said bandit. some- I don't know what they were. People are passing gas, people have crapped their cell, peed their pants. Right. The place is a- And stick. then there was the other guys in the cell with you. <laughs> huh? <laughs> All right. <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> I'm all man, I love a woman. I don't want no man near me except he's shaking my hand. And even though now I was a shoe in for heaven, I was faced with a different problem. After the stunt, where do I see myself? Crushing it with Ryan, as always. When all this is over, I'm taking you snowblading. I don't think you're getting the concept. Ryan, you've got to explain to Max that you're actually gonna die. No, I don't have to do anything, so get the hell out of my face. Because unfortunately, once I killed myself, I wasn't gonna be able to shred the gnar with Max on my snowblades. What's this fugly idiot talking about? After the stunt, mm -hmm. you probably won't be able to be my assistant anymore. What? what? You told me that I would be your assistant forever. You told me that. So you, so you, you lied to me then. You lied. You lied. No. 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 What else did you lie to me about, Rai? Do you even have a 14-inch dong? 
Do you even have a 14? Do you even have a 14 inch dong? Do you even have a 14 inch dong? Did you make that up too? I told everybody about that dong. I called my dad up in prison. He told me for the first time ever, he was proud of me, that I met a friend with such a nice, smooth unit. You lied to me about it. <laughs> I bet you have a pathetic dog. Just like me. <laughs> I thought you were packing heat. I thought you were packing heat. <laughs> to make Mac feel better, once I died, I wanted to have the pimpest funeral ever. A bit like planning a wedding. I wanted a bathroom guy, lined bypass for stunt bunnies, and two sets from Max's favorite Tragically Hip cover band. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the Practically Hip play, okay. which is why it has to be later, because earlier in the day they're doing two sets at the Port Elgin Legion Hall. Okay. Do you ever do like private booths for the higher rollers? Never have. So we'll do like maybe a thousand dollar bottles, and then do you do Body of Christ service? Um... You have a priest who would do that. Oh, the that's priest the, does that's the, that's the Catholic Church. Okay, yeah. we'll, we'll have a waiter doing that, and then the body of Christ is, comes with the bottle, but it's gonna be more. Who do you have working in the bathrooms? The only thing that, that, that I, I'd all, I'm always concerned about is when you get alcohol involved with a funeral of some sort, can get, I mean, it, uh, if, if worse came to worse, we have had situations we have to call police. What, so what the, you the police would take them away. They're what would they late. say? You be the guy that wouldn't leave. Well, you just say, I'm not going. I, I, I have every right to be well, here. You just smashed like any, it in your mind. Get well, I don't care. I have any, every, every right to, to, to be here like anybody you're else. You're drunk. And, uh, you just pissed on the funeral cast. Well, I, uh, you know, and I don't care. I, the, you know, so, so I mean. This is grossing everybody out. I was thinking about an open lower half of the casket and yes. be embalmed with an erect penis. Um, that would be something which would probably be considered probably an ethical issue. Maybe just embalm it like as a semi, but push it downwards so it seems like it's soft. Uh, again, it borders on the concerns of ethics. One thing that I'm dead certain on, and don't let anyone change this, is I do want to be buried wearing snow blades. Fine. Okay. It was clear that my funeral was going to be mad legendary, so now there was only one thing left to do before I jumped to my death. Hey, Max. What do you want? I got something for you. Give me a baby, come on, open it up. Give me a baby. How'd you know I love the hip? Come here. Come here, come on. Hey, Max. I'm back in here. Right. I know. I know you. Yeah. <laughs> AJ, you're gonna make someone the happiest Stop. guy. Stop. Come here. Stop come here. It. Come here. Stop it. Take care of yourself, man. Thanks, Ryan. Look at you. Hey, man. Yeah, right. Peace. <laughs> <sighs> and so I was off to complete this week's challenge and jump to my death. I was gonna miss that cocksucker. We are currently on set for what will be the last day ever of Ryan Long is Challenged where reality celebrity Ryan Long will actually be jumping from a plane to his death, leaving his family devastated and me, Jarek Hardy, unemployed. Signing this waiver demonstrates your willingness to accept the risk of serious injury or death. I realize that I could be injured, killed, or crippled. How many people have died here before? One or two from what I know. I forged documentation of parachute experience, which would allow me to do a solo jump. So even if I had second thoughts in the air, I wouldn't be able to pull the parachute because I would have no idea how. And for obvious reasons, this would be my last voiceover. Are you nervous, Ryan? What? Are you nervous right now? No. Not nervous. Right now, Ryan is courageously soaring above our heads at 18,000 feet, about to jump to his death. What's going through his head right now? The fame? 
the fortune, the women. But there was a problem. I totally rubbed out a quick one in the parachute school washroom before I got in the plane. And even though at the time I thought Jesus would probably be cool with it, now that I was standing at the crossroads of death, I really didn't want to go to hell for beating it. Masturbation, pornography, all of that. There's some people that actually want to stop, which is eternity in the lake of fire. I don't want no man near me except he's shaking my hand. Don't jump out the plane seeking Jesus. I'm not jumping. I'm not jumping. So can you tell us what actually happened here? How you doing? Uh, the slightly disappointing Mr. Ryan Long. I don't see what's really disappointing about me having the courage not to jump. You pushed out, man. I found something more important, the big guy upstairs, and I was saved from a lifetime of hell, so if that makes me a coward, then I guess there's gonna be a lot of cowards in heaven. Right. And as the negative web feedback started pouring in, it became pretty clear that I'd done a death-defying stunt after all. What's the log in here? A death-defying publicity stunt. I had the whole world thinking that I was going to kill myself, so I was confident that I'd completed the challenge. Was Ryan's publicity stunt enough to impress the panel? This week's expert panel consisted of a life coach, an another life coach, and a member of the Jackie Chan stunt team. All right, we can now bring in the contestant. Who would decide whether or not I won that righteous spa gift certificate. Over the break, you each watched a one minute video of Ryan's performance. Goals are, your thoughts please first. I think he was uh, pretty successful in becoming famous. I thought it was a bit of a con. The whole time we're being set up to think you're gonna jump, and then you didn't jump. Well, it was a publicity stunt, so I don't know if maybe you missed that part at the end. How was it death defying, though? I'm not sure. Because I almost killed myself, so that's oh, pretty death defying. I didn't see that. The stunt is actually making it, making the decision to go out there and be famous. Because how many times do people how want to do that? How is that a stunt? That? It's a stunt to go out there because most people are afraid of what other people think, so they live in their own mental prison. Whereas me, I went out there and did it. Yeah, and you experienced it. All the intentions were there. He he uh, gave away his stuff. Right. He went to. The, uh, to, for the funeral. Uh. That's a life of immortality. It was right a there. scam. It was part of the setup. Why was that a scam? Giving all my stuff away to charity. Yeah, if that's a scam, did. then I mean, you should call Unix up and tell him you have a bone to pick. Because you never did, because you didn't die. He's not committed for the dying. He's committed for becoming popular. Yeah. Bingo. I mean, after all, yeah, I mean, I we would, all I have would, a right to I live. would question how famous he is. Now that you haven't jumped, so goes your fame. So it's still two opinions. No, I'm still pretty famous. It's still, so. it's still I mean, there, there are people who consider him as a famous. Yeah, exactly. I'm still pretty famous. People so, who yeah. feel he's not, he's not done. There's not very not many completed. of them. So I don't know what spell you have these guys under, but you didn't complete the task. These two agree with me. Yeah, so. uh, I agree with her that you didn't complete the task. But uh, what? I, yeah, you were not because the last uh, step you, was not done. It's a death defying stunt. You changed your mind. No, no, last uh, step was not. Listen to me now. So, but. Your cautious decisions were 100 percent right. You did the right thing, and you decided to live. Did so I think you did the right thing. Okay, great. Ryan, any final thoughts? It's unfortunate that one of our panelists would have preferred that I died, but um, I'm glad that you guys don't feel that way, and I'm sure that you'll vote accordingly. So on the count of three, you will either hold up a pass or a fail, determining Ryan's fate. One. Two. Three. <laughs> thank you so much. Appreciate that. Uh, thank you so much. Oh, 
and the plan worked like a charm. And now Woo! it was time for me to hit the spa. See, you are not, I mean, allowed to take a gift of God, which is life, which is beautiful. You are expecting. You said yourself and a minute ago he didn't complete no, the task. But, but he, I mean, nine out of ten. One thing, I, I, I totally then agree with you on task. one thing only. A ten out of ten. We both, I think, we both agree with you he on one thing. He came up short of the gate. That, he came up no, short of crossing the finish line. Yeah, People are just finished. drawn to that one word, death. But the word stunt is the most important because the greatest stunt anyone could do in this world is to be born into this world. This world is the master illusion planet. This dimension that we're in, the third dimension is a big illusion. What, it's the matrix. I mean, I would agree that what he did was an illusion, but I don't think he completed the task that he said he was going to do.